congregations, when they don't have their own place to meet, they have to move. Because they meet in homes, we are continually losing members. Their uh, landlords kick them out. Uh, they outgrow their current location. you look at the world church, and you especially look at Africa, and their tremendous needs, and you see building after building with no roof. Easy way for the people to have one church, even if they don't have money to, to build a church. This one day church solves the needs of Africa. Most structure is made out of prefab 14 gauge steel, so it comes in a kit. It doesn't really require a construction crew. The concept of it's pretty cool because pretty much anyone can build it. We had a bunch of steel that we needed to assemble. A drill, vice grip clamps, a small level, and a hacksaw is pretty much all the tools that you would need to get this put together. We just put those pieces of steel together and made the frame of a church. So the churches can go ahead and add the character, add the, the touches to the church according to what the materials are there in, in their area. The members had finished the church. They had a part in it. They put the shirt on the church. They have sweat equity in it. It becomes theirs. It's at theirs. That point. It's theirs. The group that is meeting is small. We have no more than 18 to 20 members. The impact this will have is great because they've been wondering when the church would be built. I believe that in one year, by the grace of God, this church will have 120 members. We shared this news, these amazing promises that in one day we were going to have a church building. The people said, no, it's not going to be possible because a well-built church takes days, time. I was the first skeptic. Dear God, Father, please forgive me. May God forgive me. I've been so skeptical. Thanks to God for this group, which has come to this place and in a short time, in an extraordinary day, left us a church. What is ultimately of greater importance, this uh, church becomes a light to the community and outreach center, a place where the gospel will, will be preached, more people learn about Jesus Christ.